Are you confident? That, do you feel that there's enough uh, work done, study done at this point, so that you can determine a competent mediator? Well, that's, as you know, one of the hot issues in the field that mm -hmm. uh, is mm -hmm. still very mm -hmm. much in a state of development. The mm -hmm. ACR and ABA have been trying to attack this problem, and mm -hmm. uh, I haven't heard there seems to be some kind of an accommodation that they're mm -hmm. going to work together. Mm -hmm. um, I think as I look back on that Commission on Qualifications of Spider in 1989, we there thought the marketplace could take care of it. Mm -hmm. uh, that is, uh, except in situations where you were compelled to go into mediation, mm -hmm. then the people who compel you mm -hmm. have some responsibility of assuring quality. But outside mm -hmm. of that, mm -hmm. we said the marketplace could take care of it. I think as mediation gets more pervasive and as it's not too clear how lay consumers can evaluate mediators. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're probably heading towards some kind of, uh, not licensing, I hope, mm -hmm. but some kind of uh, system of appraising the quality and competence mm -hmm. of people, mm -hmm. at least in terms of required training. Mm -hmm. Not licensing, you hope. Why not? Well, because I think the history shows that licensing is mainly for the benefit of the licensed rather than the benefit of the people who mm -hmm. consume the product. 